No, you cannot get out of there. Good morning, everybody. I hope everyone is well. You are joining me today in the bath and up here next to me playing with his toys. I really hope you can only see my face. If you can't and my boobs are fully on show right now, I will have zoomed in because I don't really fancy the whole internet seeing my nip nips. If I sound a bit gross, it's because I have picked up something from Alfie. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't really feel like a cold, but it kind of just feels like a virus and I've been feeling it. I've been feeling it in my bones. If I sound a little bit run down and ugh, that will be why. In my last vlog I was explaining that I thought he was either coming down with something or teething and I'm pretty sure it turns out it was both. So he has very kindly passed that on to me. The joys of being a mum. I also just trapped my thumb in the door and I forgot how painful it was. I literally stood there for probably around five minutes just saying ow. Alfie was staring at me like what is actually wrong with you? I was like crying internally and it still hurts so I'm probably gonna have a nice little bruise on my finger now. I've been looking for this cleanser for the longest time and it's in my brother's bathroom. Oh I must have left it in her last. So I have no plans today which is great because I cannot be asked to do anything. I haven't seen Charlie in literally like two days because he's been away for work and it has been the longest two days of my life. I can honestly tell you that the last two days I've just spent sat reading the book, which I have finally finished by the way and oh my gosh. It's amazing. That book is amazing. I've already started on the second one. Yeah, so I've already started on the second one and it seems just as good as the first at the moment. So I'm really excited to carry on with that. This is this body scrub that I bought from TK Maxx the other day. It's Lavender Relaxing Body Scrub. Scrub Corpo Relaxante a la Lavender. Made in Italy. Sorry for any Italians out there. I just completely butchered that. Well, it's 5 99 and I just needed a body scrub so... Every time I need a body scrub, I just go into TK Maxx because they always have loads of different ones and I just need a cheap alternative. Oh, let me smell it. Oh, reminds me of my grandma's house. She always used to have lavender out, so it really reminds me of her. Oh, this is a good one. I like the ones that are like, I think there's it's a difference between salt and sugar scrubs. I like the ones that are, I think, salt scrubs where it's a little bit harsher because it really like exfoliates deep down into your skin whereas i find that sugar scrubs are a little bit too light for me or that sting in the rash on my hand i always get these rashes ever since i had covid the first time my immune system is like really bad with reacting to any other illness no matter what it is and I always get this rash on my hand, you probably can't see it from here, but it's like all along my finger and it like spreads all along my hand. And it's so, so painful. And it lasts like for weeks after I've had an illness. So I've actually had a really hard time with feeding again with Alfie. I think due to his teeth, he has bitten both of my nipples and made them bleed again. Last night, I didn't feed the entire night and it was really weird that that's the first time I've ever done that in months, possibly even ever. So because it's like the third time that it's happened, I'm just trying to let them heal now and I'm not feeding him straight from my boob. I'm pumping and giving him a bottle. I've tried nipple shields. They don't seem to work. Although my mum has just kind of got some smaller ones the tea on the other ones that i had was way too big and i just could not figure out how to latch on them which is really strange because i used them for so long when he was first born but i guess he's just not used to them anymore so i've been feeding him out of bottle he barely even took one last night but he eventually took one for me this morning the only thing that i'm worried about is that he is not going to be able to sleep properly because Alfie very much associates sleep with milk and vice versa. So when he feeds from me, I think it's like a, <laughs> I think it's like a comfort thing. And then he just falls asleep. Well, as with a bottle, he doesn't do that unless he's in like a car or a push chair or something. So I'm gonna really, really try over these few days where I'm letting my nipples heal and really try to stop him associating milk with sleep. 
So then I can hopefully, it's not very quiet, is it? So then I can hopefully try and just get into self soup. But I think it's going to be quite a journey, I'm not going to lie. Right, Alfie has been down for a nap for a little while now, so he's probably going to wake up soon. I just need to get rid of this gross curry that I made last night, which is actually kind of new for me. I mean, I don't normally throw away food. I usually like the food that I make, but it just wasn't it. And I saved a load in the fridge as well, so I need to get rid of it because, let's be honest, I'm not going to eat it. Oof. I need to make myself some lunch. Oh my god, guys, I forgot to tell you. Guess who hasn't had a vape in three days? Me. So, that day that I bought that crystal bar, and I was showing you, like, oh my god, the guy persuaded me to get this. I was with Charlie in the evening, and I was like, I was like, this is my last vape. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, why don't you just throw it away? And then he, like, mimicked me and said, oh, because if there's stuff left in there, then you don't want to throw it away. Because that's what I always say. I always say, this is my last vape, but I will smoke it to the end because I feel like it's a waste of money if I throw it away. I'm putting this back now. I'm really sorry about the horrendous lighting in these clips. I had no idea that the blinds had done that. So you're just going to have to ignore it. I'm sorry. And I literally was having some and i just went and threw it in the bin even though it was pretty much full and i bought it that day and i haven't smoked one since so <coughs> i'm actually really proud of myself i've had enough of them i'm not gonna i'm never ever gonna smoke one again i'm not having a very healthy lunch today i'm literally having two vegan fish fingers two hash browns probably some cheese in a wrap because i literally can't be asked i was gonna make some tofu but i i honestly cannot be asked However, I really, really want to make some hummus. I wonder if I'll have time before Alfie wakes up. So I've just made some hummus. I'm going to just quickly try it. It looks really good, actually. That's better than the last time I made it, I think. Mm. There is literally nothing that gives me the ick more than those little black spots on the avocado. Ugh, I hate them. I used to have avocado for breakfast literally every single morning. And then one day I was like, do you know what? I prefer it for lunch, I think. Although it literally has to be seasoned with a very generous amount of garlic and chilli there is no other excuse for any other seasoning and i don't really like it like proper mashed up i like it smooth on like toast or something but in a in some when it's in something i don't need it to be as smooth if that makes sense oh i just got one of the black bits in my hummus ew this is a very very random lunch but i'm not complaining about it to be honest Hummus and avocado just go so, so beautifully. Just have a nice little dollop on there. Then I'm going to add some lettuce. Are you serious? I bought this yesterday and it goes out yesterday. For God's sake. Then I'm going to add the fish fingers. Then the avocado. This is looking very, very green. And then just to make it a little bit beiger, or beiger, I'm just gonna stick those on top. Now oh, I've got a little bit of leftover lettuce, I'll stick that on top as well. And it would not be a wrap from me without a little bit of ketchup to ruin it. Beautiful. And that is my lunch. I had so much washing up to do when Alfie wakes up, but that's okay, I can do it. While oh, he's eating his lunch. I swear to God, never get the baby monitor that I have. It's so, so crap. I don't even know what the brand is, but it's this one. The screen is like this. It's beeping at me, it's on charge. I've tried to connect it. I've gone up there and stood next to the camera like three times, restarted it all like three, more than that actually probably like five or six times and it will not connect i could have had so much done in this time it was potentially the longest sleep i think i've ever had alfie do for months the only thing that i can put it down to is that he didn't feed off of me before he slept so normally he would feed off of my boob for ages go between each one and then just fall asleep on the boob and then he would only sleep for um maximum an hour but this time this time he slept for over two hours and he did not feed off the boobs so he had a bottle of breast milk 
quite a while before he went to sleep and then he just fell asleep on the bed next to me it was a little bit of a struggle to get him to sleep but he did and he did eventually go off and then when he fell asleep he literally didn't wake up for two hours over two hours good boy so maybe that's the key i mean i knew that falling asleep on the boob sorry my nose is so so itchy falling asleep on the boob is not really the best thing for them um because they are more likely to wake up because it's not like oh careful it's like their stomach isn't settled so i think it's quite obvious that they're probably going to be more disruptive if they have fed literally just before but i've always found it too hard and just given in and been like oh i'll just feed him and hopefully it goes down and he does but no longer than an hour so it's really good that he's actually managed to sleep for longer He's just having his lunch now, so I've made him... Oh, you had enough? I've made him, like, a cheese toasty, but I left it in the air fryer for way too long, so it's far too crispy. Um, So I can only use a couple of those bits. Some cucumber and the homemade hummus that I made earlier. And he seems to be enjoying it, don't you? I did try and give him a bottle not long ago, but he just was like, no, I literally don't want it from you. Which I understand. I mean, I've got two perfectly good boobies here, and I'm trying to force... A bit of plastic in his mouth so you don't want that do you no we also got this well my mum got it it's this newbie like bottle warmer it's really really good i'm not gonna lie it's so easy to use the temperature is perfect it gives you like a chart on like what how much water to use and stuff we actually got it second hand but it had never been opened so we just bought it from vintage there's so many different things you can get from vintage it's almost like ebay like it's not just clothes on there it's like another ebay but i think it's better because you don't have to bid for anything you can literally just buy it and it's really really quick so definitely have a look on vintage for other little goodies like that because it's not just clothes guys you enough you enough want some water i literally spent like over an hour trying to figure out that bloody monitor that i have and i just could not figure it out i was searching it up i was looking at all the reviews on amazon and nothing would tell me what was wrong with it it's the range on it but i ended up just facetiming myself which is why i couldn't record anything <laughs> which is why i literally didn't record anything while i was asleep because i had to facetime myself and you can't obviously record while you're on facetime so this is why i need a camera but we can dream guys we can dream you done is that you saying you finished yeah It is so, so weird to me to be sat here feeding him a bottle. I've literally done this like twice. He seems to be liking it though, which is good. It's just really, really, really strange for me. Like, I'm not used to seeing his face from this angle while he's feeding. Does that make sense? I'm used to seeing him like right there. It's, it's really, really odd. So nice. He's a good boy. Sorry if you can hear Miss Rachel. Alfie's in the other room in his playpen. Just watching a bit of TV. I'm going to put some salt water on my nipples because apparently that really, really helps with healing. So it's probably going to hurt like a bitch, but I'm going to do it anyway. I don't really know how much to do, but I'm just going to wing it anyway. I really hope this glass doesn't smash. I remember when I worked at Costa, literally, I swear, every other day I used to walk in, get something out of the dishwasher, and a glass would smash in my face. It literally has scarred me for life. I don't even know whether you're supposed to, whether it's supposed to be boiling water that you do this with. I've also been using Walida Hypercal Wound Salve. My mum gave me this because she had it for some reason, I don't really know. Obviously Walida is a really good brand as well, so I've been using that to try and help heal them at the same time. I mean, I haven't fed him for over 12 hours on them and they're starting to heal over again but every single time they would heal over it's not that he was biting every single time he would do it um every single time he would feed but where the position of his teeth was it was like digging in and reopening it and making them bleed and oh my god it's just it's horrible so i really need to let them heal before i try and feed him again thought anyway that i would show you how i make my air fryer chips for both me and alfie they're so so easy i'm sure you could do them in an oven as well oh, well I, I don't know to be honest but if you have an air fryer definitely use your air fryer because they are much better so i always use albert bartlett potatoes or red potatoes they are the best for pretty much anything to do with cooking with potatoes i just 
something about them are amazing and I am going to be doing two separate portions because Alfie is not going to have the salt and I am going to have the salt so I'll be doing them on both sides of the air fryer that is just a convenience that we have because we have two sides of the air fryer but I know not everyone does. After you've washed them you just want to cut them into like wedge shapes you can peel them but I always leave the skin on because I just much prefer it with the skin on so they look something like that. So this is the amount that I have, it looks like a lot but I save loads anyway just because I prefer cooking in batches and like reheating stuff I just find it so much easier time wise and convenience wise so half of this, well not half of it, some of it will be for Alfie and some of it will be for me so you want like a colander with holes in and then pop the chips in then you want to give them a good wash underneath some cold water to get rid of any starch. Then the part that I find the most lovely and boring is wiping each one. You have to make sure that they are pretty much as bone dry as you can get them. I always use a tea towel because I always feel like with kitchen towel it kind of leaves a little bit of the kitchen towel on them. So this is my portion. I'm just going to spray it with some fry light. Make sure that it's all covered in that. So for mine, I'm literally just going to use this season all. I haven't got much in this one, so I've got two because I do use quite a generous amount. And it's basically just salt, paprika, and pepper. But I will not use this for Alfie's because I just don't really want that much salt on his. And then for Alfie's portion, I'm going to do the same, but I'm just going to season it slightly differently. So I'm going to use a paprika some black pepper and a little bit of garlic. So this is Alfie's portion in this side and this is my portion in this side. And then I don't know how other people's air fries work, but I'm just gonna put it on max crisp for, I'm gonna say 15 minutes on both sides. And then I will come back and show you what they look like after that. So Alfie's look like they are done, but mine need a little bit more time. So I just put them on 10 minutes on the actual air fryer setting. And then, yeah, these are the ones for Alfie. So he's gonna have these for dinner, probably with some veg like peas or something. The angles are immaculate right now. Just really quickly putting my tan on. My friend is gonna come and pick me up because I haven't seen her in ages. Well, I say my friend, she's my best friend. Yeah, she's gonna come and pick me up in a sec. My mum is going to watch the monitor, which I fixed by the way, it took me forever, but I did manage to figure out what the hell was wrong with it, it just randomly went off and it turns out that it had like completely disconnected from the camera, so that was good. But yeah, I have fixed that now, which is all good, so my mum is going to watch the monitor, I'm going to go and see my friend for an hour and then Charlie is back at like 10 o'clock I think, Maybe a little bit later, which I am so excited for because i miss him so much i just turned my legs really really quickly god there's a huge line on my bum that is embarrassing i will be doing the rest of my body not just my chest and my legs but i'm just trying to like speed up the process and so i don't have as much to do when i get back i had those chips that i made for dinner and then my mum had a few and my dad had a few as well so we were all just picking from that and filled me up quite well actually, so that was good. I was planning on saving a few, but never mind. It's fine. Why have I got a Oh, it's a bit of chocolate. Nice. I still haven't fed Alfie from my booth all day, which is so, so unlike me. Usually I give in by now and I'm just like, fuck it, I'll feed him, but I actually haven't, which is really, really strange for me but they're healing quite well actually and Alfie took the bottle really really well so it's more important right now that I heal and actually let it heal rather than just keep latching him and it get worse and worse and worse because then eventually I'm just going to be like I can't do this anymore and 
that is the last thing I want to do. My friend is probably gonna be here and I have no trousers on, so love you, bye. I have just finished editing this video and I am gonna leave it there. It's Saturday now and I just did not have any time to edit, so I've only just edited this now. I'm really sorry if it's a little bit of a boring one. I just had nothing to do that day and I've been kind of ill the last few days, so I still wanted to put something up and I'm also really sorry that it's late. <laughs> anyway, a massive thank you to everybody who watched the end of this video and I hope everybody has a really good upcoming week. Bye.